Well, it's eight months since uh, Tony Wilde uh, got elected onto the Legislative Council, and I thought it was a good time to catch up with you and uh, see how you've been faring. I mean, you've tried before to get in and, and unsuccessful, but this time you, you made it. And what, what's the driving force behind Mr. Wilde, who wants to be an MLC? The, the driving force behind Tony Wilde, who wants to be an MLC, is the fact that. Um, I got to a stage in my life and career where I felt I was in a position to give something back to the island. Um, you can tell by my accent that I'm, I'm not from the island originally. There's, there are some Manx twangs in it from time to time, but Janet, my wife, and uh, family are very much Manx, and uh, the island was good to me at the age of 18. It got me into a banking career that lasted 32 years, and I have to say it's a pleasure to be perhaps coming into Parliament, Timbald, at what is a, a, a difficult time and, and hopefully uh, helping uh, the Chief Minister and Timbald manage a, a difficult situation by bringing a, a different knowledge and skill set. And as I said, the first time around, you, you didn't get elected. You, you weren't put off the idea, you, you put your name forward again. No, I mean, in, in the end, I was, uh, that was going back to June 2010. And I was in competition with uh, Alan Crow, who was... Uh, uh, a, a perfect candidate and, and you know, all credit to Alan, Alan won the vote. We, we now work together, Alan sits in the room next to me, uh, we both work in the Department of Economic Development, Alan looks after finance, I look after employment and skills, but we both work together, enjoy each other's company and, and we enjoy teamwork and uh, it, somebody's got to win an election, it was Alan's turn in 2010 and my turn in December last year. Have you ever felt you'd like to go for, to, to be an MHK, to be publicly elected? Well, it's a, that's, it's a very good question because I've been asked that question um, by the MHKs when, uh, b b before the MLC elections, I was able to uh, have a round table talk with everybody and asked if I thought about it. And the, the genuine answer is, yes, I would be prepared to stand as an MHK, but at this point in time, I believe it should I should stand in my constituency, which is Garth, and I have the greatest respect for the Speaker, uh, who I've known for a long time, Steve Roden, and um, in, in that sense I would not wish to stand if Mr Roden was to, to move on, and we had a, a laugh about that because as he said, do you know something I don't, <laughs> um, then maybe that's something I look at. But in the meantime, I believe the Legislative Council uh, is an area where I can bring uh, some technical expertise and finance knowledge um, and contribute to Timbald. What about the old chestnut of making the MLCs elected by the public? Where do you stand on that? I, I made it very clear in fairness when I was um, standing for election that I, my belief is that the MLCs should be elected by some form of popular vote. Now the next question is how on earth do you achieve that? How on earth do you achieve that? <laughs> And, and I think that's a good question. Um, I mean, in, in, in fairness, Timwald has engaged in terms of um, a committee, uh, people are talking to each other and considering the issues. The, the, the only uh, sort of point I can make at this, at this stage of, in, in my um, uh, appointment is the fact that I, th I think an MLC would have to be elected with perhaps a different set of criteria to an MHK. In, in, in that the MLCs technically bring a revision function to Timwald and perhaps the skill sets are slightly different to the MHKs. Sometimes they overlap, sometimes they don't. But pra perhaps it's a, you, you might need to have a certain set of qualifications to be an MLC, whereas to be an MHK, it's, it's about looking after your constituents and also being a government um, minister, um, but how on earth you define those two uh, differentials uh, is, is still, I'm, I'm still finding it difficult to uh, define.